What am I doing? Don't worry. They got the size. They got the size. I'm not going to pull that over yet. Okay, here we go. They got lobster. Big boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look. Okay, you got lobster traps. Yeah. You like to you like to fish. I love to fish. Any problem? I had this couple say, by the way, what your name is? <laughs> Zero poaches. Okay. <laughs> now, trust me, this won't get out of hand because uh, me. Okay. So, I told you the news of a, a fish boat, native fish boat, was burnt mm -hmm. in a wharf in Sydney, Nova Scotia, two days ago. Does that surprise you? It does. It does surprise me. Um, for reasons unknown, why would anybody burn a native fishing boat? Because we do have to write. If a person doesn't understand the right between the differences between the privilege and the right, they should go back to school. Maybe it's Sydney, they're behind the times. And that too. The Sydney tarpon, maybe it affected their brain cells a little bit. Could have, it could have. Huh. No, but the bottom line is education. Education, information, communication. All these things are a factor in um, burning any boat. Why? Do they think the natives were just there trying to talk? No, the Indians are coming here. They can't take it. They're going to overfish and everything. What do you say? What do you got to say, say to that? Well, you know. Everybody has certain amount of greed, and both sides. Both sides. When they see the, the native people um, starting to conduct their fishery, a food fishery for the community, a food fishery uh, for themselves, you know, and even with this moderate livelihood that we just won this case with, we have that right. You know, we can we can fish if we want to. This is this is Mi'kmaq Nation. This is unceded territory belonging to the First Nations of the Maritime Provinces. They have a right to fish. Donna Marshall, what, now, how come after that all the natives didn't start fishing all over the place? Is it just limited fishing for commercial or for a ceremony purpose? purpose? So what's... Donald what Marshall, Donald Marshall, the case was under food fishery when it first started. And when we won the case, the Marshall case, it gave us access to commercial fisheries. Now, where we fish, we abide by the rules of Department of Ocean Fisheries, undersized female lobsters, everything go back into the water like we're supposed to fish commercially. I seen it. I was as Martha was with you about yeah. about a year ago. Yeah. And you measure every and there's there. a lot of them. You're, oh yeah. You throw you throw out? Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't throw me overboard. But uh, remember <laughs> how, how many miles in the ocean? <laughs> We were five miles out. Five miles out. My God, it was good. It was very good. And you measure every, and every every native does the same thing, right? Yep. Yeah. So what are those idiot people from Sydney, Nova Scotia, those cowards that goes in the nights and burn a native fish uh, fish boat? What are they concerned about? What? I think it's jealousy for one, and um, discrimination for one. It still exists. Oh yeah, it still oh, exists. Really? Okay. It, it's uh, it's a very high thing still, but it's uh, you know underneath the carpet there. Very very deep. Yeah, there. and uh, it nobody doesn't want to really admit it, but it's there. It's really there, and it's hidden in so many different ways today. Um, when you look at the fisheries, people don't realize that when we fish, we fish for our families. The people that are fishing on board, we hire our people so that they can make a lot of moderate livelihood. You know, it's kind of, you're, you're supporting families throughout the communities. A lot of people complain about native people, oh, they're lazy people, they're, oh, they should be on welfare and stay on welfare. But when they see us being successful and doing something that we love to do, then right away, oh, geez, I think they might do it even better than us. And it's a sad thing. It is. I seen you, not you, your wife, uh, bringing snow crabs. Follow us. That's where I got mm -hmm. introduced by that. What's it called? The project. Charlie, shut up, because I don't want the other collarbone to be broken. Anyway, <laughs> she has some snow crab, mm -hmm. and she dropped over the snow crab to your sister. 
and that is helping helping the community share the community snow crabs lobster you know i mean and this woman probably no food next thing you know mm -hmm. oh snow crabs great mm -hmm. what's wrong with that we share everything because it's part of our tradition and part of our customs to share we share everything with everybody with the elders within the community we share the food with everybody and it's the same thing with the moose hunt we're going to be hunting here pretty soon and and whatever we get will be shared amongst everybody throughout the families throughout the elders the elders come first then the families after that's important how come we can't do the same same thing as uh, sharing and uh, caring really? hey it's it's greed it's greed and you know our society is a little bit different here on the reserve um, how we conduct business, how we conduct oh, yeah. uh, taking care of our families, how we take care of our families is, uh, is a very big deal to us because we have more compassion to our families than looking away when you see somebody down and out or old and they have to be shipped off to an old age home and not, not to be looked at anymore. We, we don't they look at it that no, way. No, they don't. No, you don't. And one more thing that uh, maybe I'll blow it here, maybe that's where the other collarbone will be broken, which I talk about Miramichi, St. John, Mountain, Fredericton, and I've been saying it all along, Miramichi, Crystal Met. Is there a problem here? Well, you know, it's a problem everywhere. It does. Uh, um, True. And, and it's sad that, you know, our communities are struck by such a strong drug. Cheap, strong. And, drug. Yeah, cheap and strong. And a lot of people have been affected. Um, a lot of uh, our families, we've lost a lot of people also. Uh, and it's too bad and, it, and it's sad that we, we've gone through this. Um, it, it, some places, it's bigger than the others, but they do have programs out there to help. Uh, How do you do it here? Well, they go through the methadone program with the health center. We have, yeah. our, we have our own health center in the community and they go to the health center, they go to the doctors and everybody does their test. Maybe we can learn because it seems we don't know what to do. Maybe uh, we can learn from the, our native friends what how to handle the issue of crystal meth. That's the reason I'm asking. Mm. We don't seem to know, I won't, I won't swear now, <laughs> but we don't swe seem to know nothing how to handle it. Well, you know, it's crystal, a point of no crystal meth okay, is shut a, up, it's a poison. It's a poison to every family out there that's going through it. Um, and it's too bad but once they do come to um, a better understanding where they want to be in life um, then they can uh, fix their lives in a better way somebody getting impatient thank you always a pleasure all righty later all right